Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs bringing you another tutorial. This one is how to make the Modern Warfare 2 logo. It'll end up looking something similar to this. Okay, so you want to start off, you want to go to File New and make a new canvas. For me, it's going to be 1280 by 400 pixels. Just click OK. Now you can unlock this layer by double clicking the padlock and clicking OK. Then you need to go to Edit and Fill and just have a black background. And then you want to make a new layer. I want to click text, then just put some text in. I'm going to type modern, modern. Type in modern warfare. Type in whatever you want. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do modern warfare. Then, when you've done that, you can go double click it and go to layer style, and then out here you can go to outer glow, and you want to make it. Um, put it here. It's kind of a light green, really. It's not like COD4 with a dullish green. It's kind of light green like that if I just make this size and a bit spread to zero no that one yeah okay so that's looking alright for just the simple basic one and then you can maybe go to gradient overlay and you can just click maybe last like a white and a bit of a grey to give it a bit of contrast. Then you can now you've got the basic text. You can make a new layer by clicking the new layer icon. Then you want to go to the shapes thing, and it might be on rectangle one with them. Click and hold and go to the line tool. Then up here, change the weight to one. And then when you got that, you wanna. Draw your line, hold shift so it goes straight and doesn't go at an angle. Maybe create it like that. Okay, and then you can double click it, go to layer styles, go to color overlay, and change it to white. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna. Okay, then if I click that, maybe just place it up further a bit, up a bit. Then you can change the blending mode to soft light and maybe just lower the opacity to about 50 see what else? no 25 I'll say 20 20 looks alright okay so then you wanna duplicate it by dragging it into the new layer and then make sure you got the little move tool selected and click down 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 then duplicate it again down 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 so just keep duplicating the ones that you duplicate in one down 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 you just keep tapping down on the arrow on the little arrow drag it down 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 this is just to create those lines that you actually see in the picture you see there those like little streaks going across um, to make them all uneven and everything maybe do play the first one jump to your left and go up 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 there you go <laughs> to maybe make them a bit better and more obscure go to edit transform scale and just adjust the scale so they're not all the same but I'm not going to do all them for this because it will be just too time consuming really Okay, so basically you have the sort of basic text there, and then you want to go make the two. So just make a new layer, and click text, and place it in, and type two. Then you can go to edit, and transform, and scale. And if you notice, it goes from the middle of the R to the roughly the middle of the R again. So just move that to the beginning of the R, down a bit, or up a bit. To the right, to the right. Okay, so then you have the two, but you want to make it below the modern warfare text. So you're going to drag it right to the bottom, but not before the background. So then you want to go to the layer style blending options, and then you want to click color overlay. Make sure the colors to black. Then you want to go to stroke. And you want to make the stroke color an orange. That's roughly this sort of color. 
then you want to maybe thicken up the stroke to about five no six make it to six it's all right maybe a little opacity a bit there we go and then you've got the two but you notice as the little missing gaps going down the middle of it so now you want to click that tool and hold it and go to rec rectangular marquee tool and then it's very slightly so you're just gonna go down with the rectangle like that then you want to hit delete on your keyboard I'll tell you what now before you do that you wanna right click on the two and go to rasterize type otherwise it won't work and you get that error message that I just got so now you wanna click delete and as you see it's just deleted the middle part there that is not the best I'll do that again maybe just make the little, the little margins a bit bigger there we go there we go so that's a bit better anyway you can obviously spend more time over it and you have that and um, that's pretty much it that's just the basics I might make a more advanced one soon um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial remember to subscribe for more and I appreciate all the ratings and I'll see you guys later bye